Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Miss. Uh, good evening. How are you? Uh, well, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. It's uh, good. Uh, What's a good day? Thank today was a good day? Oh, that's yeah. good. Oh, nice. Uh, well, we're going to start with a video conference. You rejoin here. And um, I think that the rest of the group will be joining uh, later. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you, do you have any questions for me uh, about the platform? Do you have a, any exercise that you haven't solved or something like that? No, because I finished the platform. The you, last you Friday. The you, get, you get the 100%? Yes, uh, the uh, night. night. 80% more or less. night. Ah, okay, okay. That I think that is one of the exercises that we we couldn't solve the last time. Um, well, I'm going to um, share with you the PowerPoint presentations that I have prepared for you for uh, this last say. Uh, I mean, this uh, session. Uh, I think that tonight or this week, uh, maybe there, there, there are a few students in the class, I think. Less. Because, uh -huh, because the, the student in La Mayoría, in the, how mm. do you say, Maria? Uh, all of them. All of them finish the platform, I think. They finish. Oh, but... Uh, um, something that you have to remember, and I think that the rest of the of the group have to remember, is that to get the certifications, you need the 80% of the platform and also the 80% uh, of attendance, okay? Uh, in order to get your certification, go to the following level. That's something they need to complete. Um, okay, give when will second. we finish the class? We're going to finish when this course uh, this coming Thursday. This, uh, this okay. Thursday, uh, jueves. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to share with you um, uh, this quote. Uh, well, I'm going to use the whiteboard. Give me a sec. Okay, this one. Okay, uh, here, here. In here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Lea, uh, tell me, what do you think about this quote? The one that I'm going to post here in the uh, in the platform. Uh, give me a second. I have a problem problem with it. Okay, this, 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 and this. Okay, there you have. That's the quote uh, for this uh, video conference. We're going to discuss, okay? Read the quote. It says, the greatest glory is living lives not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. What do you think about that? Give me yes. one moment. Okay, okay. Uh, the greatest what? <laughs> I uh, 
Okay, take your time, and, and I'm going to listen later. Okay, um, I think that the big glory, uh, this, um, the big glory or the, the, the satisfaction in the per personal satisfaction is not um, never filing. This is mm -hmm. not glory. The glory is filing and stand up and go to the fisher and go to the take the, the take the the troubles and and always uh, look at the look at the front and go okay okay very good i think i don't know if it's okay yes yes it's okay miss um well Let's see, uh, Mr. Alejandro, you are here. Uh, welcome to this video conference, uh, Mr. Alejandro. Can you hear Hello, me? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Okay, uh, well, here we have a quote, sir. It says, the greatest glory is living lives not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. What do you think about that? This is a quote from Nelson Mandela. Uh, it's a, 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 a African man. Uh -huh. He's an African man. Is a, uh, yes. he, it was the president of Africa he, too. Yes, the president. And he fight uh, with, the, with the life and, and, your, and your people with the um, and, and the missing uh, is possible in the in the time uh, and to life is ever because the life is not perfect mm -hmm. and the glory is only in fight, fight, step by step, and in front of the problem, in to uh, to take and the result to in in um, in the improve, improve or or simpler is to um, affront that. How do you say affrontar? Face. To face. Face. Yes, to face. To face. Okay, and, and to face the different problem, issues, or situation, and the job, in the life, and the healthy, and what whatever uh, whatever the problem is to face and to. Uh, uh, to be positive and to mm -hmm. continue to to fight in the uh, uh, until the finish. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Yes, that's right. Something that 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 catch me catch my attention was that you were saying life fight. Uh, I mean, uh, fight, fight, and fight. And uh, that's true. We always have to fight for things that we want. Uh, but also we have to uh, check the results at the end, okay, in that fight. For instance, maybe in, in, in a fight that I have with uh, some, uh, uh, well, familiar things could be, um, and I'm trying to, to get something or I'm trying to solve something, we have to fight. But also we have to learn from uh, the experience that we're going to, to get from it. Um, and it, here we have uh, this quote that it says, okay, um, if you fall, okay, if you fall, uh, don't give up, okay, or never give up, just stand up, okay, and continue. 
uh, because those fools that you have in life will uh, be giving you experience, okay? Will be giving you experience and also you are going to learn from it. You are going to have, uh, well, maybe in the future, a, so, uh, 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 a different thing of seeing the, the, the um, whole, I mean, different things, how you see uh, life or how you see those problems. Uh, well, that's the quote that I have for today. Um, we're going to go to the topic that corresponds to this, um, to this um, a video conference. Give me a second. I have one problem here, and it says, "Okay, stop sharing here." Very good. Oh, I can give me a second, please. Okay, here we have. Uh, the last week we were uh, discussing about how we refer to time in the past. Okay, that was the topic that we're discussing. What we're going to be uh, doing right now is to um, make a review. Okay, you are going to tell me what do you remember from the last topic that was called referring to time in the past? What was what is, I mean, uh, the yeah, things that you remember? The, for example, uh, dangerous ago, for example, is uh, to remember topic and using some adjective for to uh, move the, the time and the period or the move the time in the date, for example. Okay, very good. Yes, that's true. Um, and also, we're discussing too, um, how do we use some um, preposition of time for referring time in the past? Um, I remember that we were discussing, we were checking information about um, the use of ago, uh, the use of last, okay, the use during. of in. Do you remember the others? During. During, okay, during. What else? For and um, for. For. Oh, in. In, in very good. And at. Mm -hmm. at. Yeah. That's true. Uh, well, uh, we're discussing about those. Uh, well, I'm going to create this um, here. We're discussing about this, okay? We're discussing about how we use on, how we use in, um, and also how we use at. Do you remember the use of at? Okay, can you tell me something about that? When do we use yes. at? At, use at when, when we are talking about diet or date, date. Days, uh-huh. Specific date, no. At. Yeah, and a specific day. Yes, that, that's true. But also, we use at with clock time, okay? And um, when we refer to, to uh, in a specific hour, for instance, we can say, like, I finish my, my, my homework at 2 p.m. Could be, okay? <clears throat> I will play guitar at 5 p.m. Every time that we use at and uh, we holiday use too. with clock time. Tell me, sir. And the holiday too. And holidays too. Yes. When we talk about period of time, for instance, if I say um, at the weekend, that's mean a period of time from Saturday to Sunday at the weekend. Okay. Um, at night, that's mean 
uh, for a specific hour to um, to other specific hour uh, at Christmas because that's a period of time. Christmas, twenty five. Okay, uh, things things like that. Things like that. Uh, that's the way how we use at, and then we have for enduring. We said that we use um, for for mm -hmm. a, a, when we want to talk about a lack of time. Okay, when we have like um, specific okay. lack of time, it could be like an hour or for the weekend. Enduring, enduring. Uh, it's when we refer to something. Okay, uh, in the past. And we specify the period of it, but the event is in the past. Like it rained during the night. It is something that happened uh, during the night, and we are expressing that it rained during the night. Or oh, another example that we have is they arc during the holidays. Okay, they arc during the holidays. That's the way how we use during. And we saw. Um, some common errors in English that um, we don't have to confuse. Uh, the first one is using for and ago. Okay, uh, for it says that it refers to the leg of time. Um, and here we have an example. It says I live there for a year. I live there for a year. And also we use ago. Uh, that that is another confusion between between those words. But a goal refers to a point of time, okay? Or in a specific point in time. Um, this one is separated by uh, a leg of uh, between now and then, okay? That, that's the difference, the uh, difference that we had for, um, for uh, the use of a goal. Okay, that's the review. And we're going to go to the following uh, presentations. Presentation, I mean, this one. Give me a sec. I'm going to stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay, uh, today we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs. That's the uh, topic, okay? Um, well, here we have phrasal verbs. Uh, as we know, in English, we have uh, something that is called phrasal verbs, okay? And those phrasal verbs um, are uh, two words uh, that we're using to express something in a specific. Um, in phrasal verbs, it says that these uh, phrases or, or phrasal verbs are phrases that indicate actions and uh, they are used in a spoken language and informal text. Examples of such as verb include turn down, come across, and run into. Those, all those words, eh, <clears throat> sorry, um, all those eh, words that we have there eh, are used just in spoken English and informal text. What happened there? The thing is that when we're using phrasal verbs, they are like kind of informal. And um, because they are informal, uh, they are not using academic text or a, well, when you are um, taking some, uh, uh, a formal course, okay? Those give, give us an idea about what is the meaning of it. 
Okay, and here we have some examples of it. And it says turn down, come across, and run into. Those are examples of phrasal verbs. Uh, well, uh, phrasal verbs. How they are composed, okay? Or how we can construct phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs consist of a verb in a preposition or an adverb. Uh, that's how we, how we do it. Okay, when we create phrasal verbs, it is composed from a, a verb and a preposition, or it could be an adverb, verb plus adverb or verb plus preposition. And thus, okay, could be possible. Um, let's see. Welcome, Mr. Lopez. Um, Good evening, sir. Well, here we have some of the examples of it. It says, get up, go through, write down, take after. Okay, those are the, the some uh, common uh, phrasal verbs that we have in English. The, these are a uh, common, okay? And uh, in English, okay, this is the, 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 the the end of the topic, okay? In English, as we know, we have those phrasal verbs that are composed from a verb and also from a, a preposition or an adverb. But in prepositions, there are um, some phrasal verbs. I mean, in, in phrasal verbs, there are uh, some uh, phrases or, or, or words that are called phrasal verbs too, but those are composed by three different words, okay? And here we have some of the examples. It says, look forward to, put up in a wit, sit it, sit in for, okay? There we have the preposition or arbor. Uh, well, in the construction of it, we can use a preposition or an adverb, uh, in, in the second one, we can use a preposition or an adverb too. But um, we must take into account this, that when we're forming uh, or we're creating three phrasal words, three word phrasal words, uh, we need to use it um, in order to, um, to, to provide meaning in spoken English and also in informal texts. Uh, and here we have uh, some of the phrasal verbs that, that, that are common in English. Look for, look up to, look forward to, and look up. Uh, that's the, those are like uh, two words phrasal verbs and those are three words phrasal verbs. Uh, the first one, uh, is there anyone who wants to, um, to participate in uh, tell us the meaning of the phrasal verbs? Is there anyone? Okay, guys, uh, any volunteer? Any volunteer who wants to participate in uh, telling us the meaning of those phrasal verbs? They look, in, look for look up to, look forward to, and look up. What is the meaning of those uh, phrasal words? What does it mean look for? You know that? Do you know that? Well, you are looking for in the model. Okay, uh, very good. Yes, uh, well, you are going to, uh, we're going to, de to do an activity, okay? You are going to go to the breakout rooms. You are here, let me see, just three, three people. You are going to go to, the, uh, to a breakout rooms and you are going to look for the meaning of those phrasal verbs, just the meaning, okay? the meaning of these four phrasal verbs. Look for, look up to, look forward to, and look up, okay? Um, 
I'm going to, op uh, I will open uh, the breakout room right now. And please go there and uh, discuss, uh, discuss the meaning of this. You can take a screenshot. Do you take it? Do you take a screenshot of this? <clears throat> you can use your cell phones if you are in your cell phones or your computer. Okay, let me know when you finish. Um, in look for two is a, a we we look forward to watching um, television. Okay, let's see. Uh, I will send you to the breakout rooms right now. Um, and um, you are going to discuss that, Mr. Alejandro. You are going to discuss that with your classmate. And then at the end, you are going to give me the correct meaning of each of these phrases. I'm going to, to use a market here in order to explain that better. Okay, all this part, check it out. Okay. You are going to look for the meaning. That's what you are going to do. You can look for it in Spanish if you want. Okay, you can you can use Spanish and then tell me your answer in English. And uh, that's it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I took a <clears throat> picture. Okay, thank you, Miss uh, Campos. Looks boring. Okay, there you have. There you have. Please join to the breakout rooms and, and start work. And start working on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I understand that the the teacher now wants that we make um example with a who found the concept, the correct concept, or the put information in the translate information to the right at the left. Okay. <laughs> But, can you can you give, give me one example because I don't know if I understand good. <laughs> uh, but in the box, the box information in the in the right. Uh, what is the concept? For example, look look up. What is the meaning? The concept uh, and to. The comparative in the right, in the box right. Uh, okay. For example, look for look forward to is a similar uh, the main the main thinking or the the main dream uh, dream something. Um, but the reference, I don't know, don't remember because I don't have the box in, 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 in the screen. I don't put the screen, but uh, it's possible in, in, in your box information, uh, similar refer uh, the person in the thinking whenever or dream something. And look for, look forward to. Look forward to okay. Uh, the meeting is a wait or anticipate with a uh, please. The books have uh, four 
four or five concepts. And uh, in this concept, it's possible to <clears throat> okay, welcome, Ms. Rivas. Good evening. Are you there? Can you listen? Hello, good evening. Um, let's see, yeah, let's see what I can speak. Of. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, well, I send you to um, an invitation to the breakout rooms. And I don't know if you have joined, but they are working on a, one exercise about phrasal verbs where you have to look for the meaning of those uh, phrasal verbs and, um, and you are going to expose that in this video class, okay? Please join to the video conference. I mean, the breakout room. Teacher, how do I join the... Oh, you haven't joined? Uh, well, no. um, I don't know if you have an option uh, in in the in the settings where you have yes. like yeah there you have an option. Yeah. That it says breakout rooms. Mm, configuración de la reunión. No. I'm going to one say desconectar audio, the other one is chat, and the other one is configuration de la reunión. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I think you can join there, uh, but they will they will be back in in uh, around two minutes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Search. Uh -huh. uh, Look up, it's, it's trying to define the price information by looking in the book or or on a computer. It's, it's trying to find a piece of information. Yes, it says that the, the, the idea to what mean look. What means is the means. Uh huh. Look up. Look up meaning, for example. Look up. Uh, look up. Look at, mm -hmm. The concept sure. look up is a search to search for and find a piece of information in a book or database. Yes, yes. Or things seem to be looking up at last to improve. In, in some situation, it is an improve. Okay, it's okay, I understand. Exists in, exist in the concept similar says for and a five a piece of information or improve. Okay, this is a mean. By an example that the teacher give give us, uh, he say she didn't understand the word, so she looked it, look it up in her dictionary. Uh huh. And look for the, is the same meaning is a meaning is a sure or sick, sick. Example, he is looking for his case. Or similar, if I say, I looking for a good job. Simple. Looking for. For a good job. And the look for is another. 
It's the four, yes, it's sure it's search. It's, yes. it's looking, it's the similar mean. Okay, look for is uh, the fields in the in the box search. Yes, yes. Okay, look for is a search. Yes. And uh, in the fields look up or the look forward to. Look up to is have a great deal of respect for a person. Have okay. a great deal for a respect for a person, for example. Up. Mm -hmm. uh, for example. For example, his father is this model. He's the personal, the, he looks to up. Look up to. Okay. Um, well, tell me, what do you find there? What do you find uh, for look for? Do you know um, a meaning of look for? Look for, teacher, I think it's a certain sick. Uh, object. Okay, uh, it's like search. Okay, like seek. Yeah, that's right. Look up to. What does it mean? Teacher, uh, search and seek. Uh, object on person. No. Also. Can you repeat that again, please? And, and the meaning and the look look for. Search and, and weak uh, and seek object and person. Search search uh, an object, okay. Uh, when you're okay. trying to find a an a specific object, like uh, I'm looking for my keys, okay, or I'm looking for my cell phone, or I'm looking for my guitar, I'm looking uh, for my coins, things like that, okay. In that way, okay. we're going to to use search. Uh, let's see the second one. It says look up to. Is ha is have a is have a good impression about the people or about the somebody. Okay, very good. Yes, that's right. Um, look up to you. It's like I have a great deal of respect for someone in a specific. Like if I respect, okay. Uh, to Miss uh, Mr. Alejandro, that's mean, uh, or I can create a sentence like saying, uh, he looks up to, okay, or I looks up to. Um, very good. Tell me, what do you think about look forward to? Look forward to. Is wait for for somebody or for something? Wait. Okay. Here I am looking look forward to my husband, for example. Okay, okay. Um, no. Another way to see that is like a way age early. Okay. Uh, or like if we are, it could be like. Um, it's a song. Tell me. It's a similar something. Yes, it's when like when we're excited about something uh, that we want to do, and we are like always focused or trying to anticipate things just for a uh, pleasure. Let's see the other one that it says look up. What do you think is the meaning of look up? It's similar search. It's similar to search. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, it, we can say that it's kind of similar, but the use is different. Okay. The use is different. We use look for, we want to search something, uh, and it could be whatever object we think. Uh, but when we use look up, is when we try to find something in a specific uh, or like a piece of information, okay? Uh, or 
in, well, um, or it can be used when uh, we use like, uh, when we're trying to um, uh, know the meaning of, uh, of a, a, a diction, a, when we try to find a meaning of a word in a dictionary, we are uh, looking up to the dictionary. That's mean I'm, I'm trying to search information, but in a, in a book. I don't know, is it clear? Is it clear the meaning of those phrasal verbs? Yes, ah, okay. it's clear. Okay, thank you. Um, well, let's continue with the following. If, if it's not clear, please let me know. Um, it says that the meaning of phrasal verbs, it sometimes, uh, it could be like a little bit uh, difficult to, under to understand. Uh, the meaning, it says that the meaning of phrasal verbs before looking them up to a dictionary, it will be helpful to use the context to understand them. What happened in, and I, I remember that I mentioned this at the beginning of this video conference. When we use uh, phrasal verbs, that means that we're using informal English, like we can use like phrasal, phrasal verbs on spoken English. Um, but um, when we are talking about phrasal verbs, the meaning of those words can change, or it could be different, okay, uh, from the, for need. Um, also, uh, when, when we're talking about a uh, three words phrasal verbs, okay, we're using um, um, three word phrasal verbs, it means that we're using two adverbs or two adjectives in order to give meaning of it. But it, what I mean with this is that uh, we can find the meaning using the context of, of, the, of the sentence, okay? We can use the context of all of it, but um, uh, also uh, we have to look for the meaning uh, or some, uh, an advice that I, I can give it to you is like, look for the meanings uh, of the of the of the uh, things because in, in this kind of uh, phrasal verbs like we're uh, like expressing an idea but this idea will be understood using the whole context because I can say look for okay uh, he don't look for but the the sentence doesn't have a uh, a meaning, okay, it doesn't have a meaning. Like if I say, uh, look for, okay, or uh, hey, look for, it doesn't have a meaning. But if I say, if I say, mis campos, please look for the keys. If I'm using the context, what does it mean? Mis campos, please find or please search um, uh, where you can find the keys, okay, things like that. That's the way whole phrase of our words and, and, and are commonly used on spoken English. But if we want to write an academic, uh, something academic must be um, the, using the, the normal verb. Uh, do you have any question, guys? No, it's clear. Is it, it's clear everything? For me, it's clear. Uh, Mr. Alejandro? Hey. Is to put an, another example. Uh, if I can use an, a, a different example. This. Ah, for instance, if I say, uh, okay, Mr. Take care. Okay, take care. Have you ever listened to that? Take care. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There we are using a verb to know an adverb, like take care, sir. Uh, and, and that's a phrasal verb. But if I'm going to write it in 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 a uh, in a document, I won't say like take care. I won't say that because that's informal. Uh, do you have uh, any other question, Mr. Alejandro? 
No, it's okay, teacher. Okay, Thanks. Mr. Lopez. If I say if I say the phrasal verb in basic form is 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 say uh is the combination to words that how yeah. one means. Yeah, okay? yes, 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 that's right. Uh, in English, okay, you, you can look for the phrasal verbs in English, the most common phrasal verbs, and you are going to have to find it uh, on YouTube. And like the, the most common phrasal verbs in English. And there you're going to learn the meaning of those phrasal verbs because uh, sometimes we have to check the context, but uh, sometimes they give, give that um, uh, in, in the use of, of it, the, of the phrasal verbs. Okay. And also, um, you will have some other examples about. Uh, what does it mean phrasal verbs? It says that some phrasal verbs have a literal meaning. Okay, that's mean they have a literal meaning. And they can be easily understood, okay, um, using the context. I mean, uh, in this case, when, when they have the literal meaning, it, it can be easily uh, understood. But when they have a, a a phrasal words that we don't know the meaning, okay? When we use of, uh, this kind of, um, this kind of uh, 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 words or phrases, we can say that in that way. When you use, we use uh, those phrasal words, like in example that we have, she opened the door and look outside. Look outside mean like, like uh, see what is happening. Okay, like see what is happening, but outside your house. Like in that way, we can use those, those phrasal verbs. Also, we have another example that it says, she was walking across, walking across, that's a phrasal verb. It's like crossing something or uh, uh, we're um, walking across the road. Um, the street when she heard the sound of an explosion, okay? Uh, this is the action, remember, this is the action. The rest is just the complement of the sentence. Um, because we're just focusing on the phrase Alberts. Uh, well, do you have any other question, guys? Hello? Teacher, and something that two combination words is ever in the phrase Albert or is a noun and some object, for example, flyback. No, fly back that, is... that's that's something uh, called like uh, compound nouns. Okay, those are compound okay. nouns. Like if I, if I say flashback, it's a compound noun. When we say phrasal verbs, we're talking about actions. In that one, we're using nouns. I don't know if it's clear. It's different using um, a... Flashbacks is okay, phrase or verbs to refer in, for example, in the movie or in the... I mean, the okay, you, uh -huh, exactly. If you say flashback, okay, flashback, but this is a, a complete word like flashback, okay? Uh, Mr. Lopez uh, had a flashback, uh, but that yeah. flashback, fl that flashback means something uh, like it's it's called a noun. It's it's a word that is a noun that is uh, expressing something. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this means an act uh, uh, expressing uh, the idea of it. What is a flashback? Okay. In in the case of phrasal words, we're talking about actions. Okay. Something. What happened? What are the actions? Um, well, do you have any other question? No, teacher. No. Uh, Mr. Lopez? Mr. Lopez? No, teacher. No, no, no. Okay. Very good. Uh, Ms. Rivas? No, teacher. I'm good. Okay. Very good. Uh, Ms. Campos, you are the last one. Thank you, teacher. It's good. All is good. Okay, everything is good. 
Okay, well, everything is good. Okay, amazing. Uh, well, uh, remember, I have to remember you this because this is something really, really important. You must complete at least the 8%, I mean, the 80% of the attendance of your, um, of your video conference because we always are taking notes um, about the, the who is attending uh, the video conferences, okay? So we need the 80% there and also we need in the final, okay, we need at least the 80%. Uh, well, as you already completed, okay, um you well also excuse me i i have a question for you okay okay miss tell me the the percent of the attendance of our class is explicit on the bars on the graphic in the no 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 in the web no 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 we have a, a like an internal attendance uh, every time that you join uh, to this video conference we have a record okay um, in mm -hmm. that record, it tell us how much time do you are connect, uh, how much time do you expend, I mean, do you expend um, in the in the video conference? Okay, so, so how how I am going to know what person I have? Well, we're going to. Mm, how do you know that? Uh, well, we are. We have sixteen sessions. Okay, we have sixteen mm -hmm. sessions. Well, uh, if you complete the, if you attend, I mean, the sixteen sessions, that means that you are going to have the, um, the eighty. I mean, the the one hundred percent. Okay. Um, how many sessions do I have to miss uh, if I want to get the eighty percent? Okay, that we're going to divide the 100% in 16, uh, and we're going to make a multiplication uh, with, could be like, maybe I miss, I miss uh, three sessions, for instance. From, we have 16 sessions, and I missed uh, three sessions. That mean, uh, that mean that I, I, I attend just 13 sections, okay? I'm going to uh, uh, do a multiplication and I'm going to say 6.25, okay? Multiply by uh, 13. And I'm going to have like 81.25%. That's me. If I, if I miss three of the sessions, I'm going to have the 80%. If I miss two, I'm going to have more than the 80%. I don't know if it's it clear, Miss uh, Rivas. Yes, it's clear. But how about um, I don't even lose no one. But you, you haven't... I joined, but I joined the class late, like a few minutes or that's an attendance. minutes. Okay, that's an attendance. Don't worry. That's an attendance. If you <laughs> had been here, if you had been here, for around at least a, a, well, 30 minutes, it's okay. Okay, don't worry. You don't have anything to worry about. The thing is that you can attend the video conference. Uh, it is good if you attend, like, if you are like punctual uh, and you attend the class at, at eight o'clock, but if you miss like some minutes, don't worry uh, that you have your attendance, okay? Okay, thank you. That's not mean. Okay, so I have to, to clarify this because I, I don't want confusion. See, that's not mean that. Okay, um, like I can think like, well, if I'm going to have my, my attendance, if I join the video conference, uh, well, I'm going to join at the end, and I will be there like just five minutes or ten minutes. Uh, that's that's not count like an uh, last, like an attendance. Why? Because you haven't been here the, the uh, at least the complete um, sessions. Remember that each of the sessions are composed by 16 minutes, okay? And if you attend just 
10 minutes, that's no, um, that won't count like an attendance. Is it clear? Yes. Ah, okay. clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, do you have any other questions here? Nobody? In the phrase verb feature, you, you can uh, the construction and to invent or innovation or to create a new or only exist some list and it's necessary to memorize the, the list with the, the meaning, this phrase verb or the common phrase verb or is possible to the construction new. Okay, there is a list. There is a list of phrase verbs. That's one of the things. But this is not like the, like the, the, the well, the, the, I mean, the um, past participle, okay, that we have a, like a list and we have to remember all of those words. It's not like that. In phrasal verbs, we have a list of, of all of them. And if we want, we can learn. But if we find, okay, Check it out this. If we find a phrasal verb in a text, we can easily identify the meaning, try to, um, try to check the context with, where that uh, phrasal verb is used, okay? Uh, okay? In that way, we can we can identify the meaning because sometimes uh, that phrasal verb can have like different meaning uh, depending on, on the context. Um, that we have in, in, in a text, for instance, or in, in a, when someone is like a speaking. So if we find a phrase over, we are going to see the context and then we're going to get the meaning of it. Um, because uh, as I said before, as I said some minutes ago, phrase words are not like, uh, like words that have a specific uh, meaning. They have some of them. They have literal meaning, but some of some others of those uh, phrasal verbs doesn't have a literal meaning, and we have to like like trying to to guess what is the meaning. Is it clear, sir? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So if if you don't have any other question, uh, let me see. Someone send a message here. Uh, learn it's a learn grammar examples of the participial phrase uh, oh thank you miss campos thank you for sending that that's a link oh something I'm, that i'm going to do in a moment is to send a link of the uh, of phrasal verbs okay um some like example. some examples yes i'm going to send a link there and there and there you can visit like um, a web page and there you are going to have a lot of phrasal verbs with the meaning okay um, but remember sometimes the meaning it's not the ones that we're going to find in the context uh, do you have any other questions no or yes okay no if, if not if not Okay, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, well, if not, if you don't have any other questions, I'm going to finish this video conference right now. And I will see you tomorrow. And remember, we are missing just three sessions. Okay, and if you get the 80% of the old um, course, and also the 80% of the attendance, the attendance, you're going to get your certification. Remember that, please, I'm telling you that, I'm telling you that because uh, the the um, well the, the person that is in chair of this course is telling us that we have to remember that that you have to complete all of those exercises. Okay. Uh, well, see you tomorrow. Blessings to all of you. Thank you for being here and, and taking and giving like uh, um, an extra time for working on, on this on this course. Uh, but believe me, that is so important in, in what you are doing here in learning English because many of the doors will be open for you uh, if you learn English. Um, 
or if you are keep practicing in your English in this case, because you are, you, you can speak in English and also you have knowledge of in English too. Uh, well, that's all. Have a nice night, okay? See you tomorrow, everyone. Okay, see you tomorrow. You too. Let's see you tomorrow. Bye. Let's see. Thank, Thank you. you.